Hello what's up, Ali here and welcome back to our corner. And on this video, we'll share the latest light version which is important to those who are still having some issues with their jailbreak and are looking for other tools to hopefully fix their issues. And also, we will provide the alternative for the gold hen which is the VTX hen. All credits to Eco Stretch and Best Pig for this. First, let us provide more information what is this VTX hen and its purpose. Since we need Gold Hen to be able to unlock the exploit and use Homebrew on our PS4 and its features, but it does not support all firmers where the exploit can be loaded. And since after the latest update for the Gold Hen, there were no ETA provided for the next version. So for those who are stuck on a specific version that is not yet supported by Gold Hen, they have no choice but to wait for the next version or use this alternative. Fortunately, though this VTX hen does not support all features that Golden has, but it is enough to play FPKGs and use other features. On this video, we will use the latest PPPWN Lite. So let us go ahead and download the latest version and show you how we can jailbreak our PS4 using the VTX hen. You can find the link on our description. So just open the link and download the latest PPPWN Lite version by clicking on this part. You will get this message when trying to download the file. You don't have to worry this file is completely safe. So just choose keep dangerous file and keep anyway. Now let us go ahead and extract the file. After extracting, we can go ahead and delete this. Open the folder. If this is the first time that you will be using this application, you will have to install the NPK first. You will find the link on our description, so just download and install the NPK. If you're having some issues with using the application, you may want to try to download and install an older version of the NPK. And now to run this application, just go ahead and double click on this one. Choose your firmware here. I will be using 9.0 since I am on 9.0. Now on this version, you can choose which script you want to use on your PS4. The first one is more stable, but it does not support all PS4 models. So you can go ahead and try this first. And if you can't get past a certain point, then you can go ahead and choose the other one. But first, let us go ahead and try to use this. Now press OK. And now to use the VTX hand, let us go ahead and prepare a USB thumb drive or external hard drive formatted with either XFAT or FAT32. So open this folder, PS4 Golden All, and choose your version. Unfortunately, I don't have a VTX hand for my version, since you will only need the VTX hand for versions that are not supported by Gold Hand. But if you are on 9.03 or 9.04 or any of the firmers that don't have a Gold Hand yet to load VTX hand on your PS4, let's say for example you are on 9.03. So all you have to do is just simply drag and drop this on the root of your hard drive. Make sure that the file name is exactly payload.bin. Now, if you were able to activate the jailbreak, but not the gold hand or the VTX hand, you may want to clean the state of your external hard drive or USB. I will just leave a link on our description for a video on how to troubleshoot if you can't load the gold hand or any payloads on your PS4. Now, let us go ahead and prepare our PS4. On the PS4, first we have to make sure that our PS4 can detect the hard drive or our USB. To do that, simply go on the capture gallery. If you don't have any items here, just go ahead and press the share button. Capture a screenshot. Then go back to the capture gallery and try to transfer this on your USB. If you can do this, then your PS4 don't have any issues recognizing the USB. Next, go to the network settings. Set up internet connection, use a LAN cable, custom, PPPoE, use a random user and a password, next, automatic, automatic, do not use, and go back from here. Now let us go back to the PPPWN Lite application. Then on the application, just hit start. This will initialize the jailbreak and all we have to do is just simply wait. 
If the jailbreak fails, it will automatically restart. If your PS4 starts, then just simply rerun the application. Well, it seems that I'm quite impressed with this Lite 5.5 version since we were able to activate the jailbreak on the first try and it was actually pretty fast. But unfortunately, I tried to load the uh, VTX hand for the 9.03 to see what will happen. And if ever you get the same notification, that means that you have also loaded the wrong version of Gold Hand or VTX hand. Now let us go ahead and uh, use the latest Gold Hand that supports 9.0. Now let us go ahead and use this one. Choose 2.4b17.3 for the latest golden version. Now all we have to do is just simply drop and drop this on the root of our hard drive. Now let us go back to our PS4. Now if you want to try to load a different payload, you don't have to restart your PS4. All you have to do is just click on the start button or the done. it will reinitialize the jailbreak. This time we were able to activate the gold hen with just one retry. It is still quite impressive looking at how stable the con exploit really is right now. Being able to activate the jailbreak with the first or the second attempt is actually pretty good. And as you can see, we were able to load the gold hen or the payload. Now, if you are on an unsupported version, you can go ahead and load VTX hen. This will activate the jailbreak and you will be able to use uh, most of the features that you can have for the gold hen. So this will be it for now. If you have any questions or suggestions, you may go ahead and share them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you find this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.